Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Space Games. This time we're going to take a look at ReCore. I'm recording this video right after playing RimWorld and recording that video and the basics are sort of the same. You are involved in a colonization effort, you have been in cryo sleep, and uh, you play a character who has just awoken. The world was supposed to be terraformed, so in RimWorld we have our little colonists that crash land and it is terraformed. It is a Earth-like world. In this case, it was supposed to be terraformed, but something goes wrong. And uh, I'm still counting it as a space game because it's space colonization and all of that. And it's sort of a platformer. It was released a little bit less than two months ago. And it got a lot of interest, but uh, I, I don't know where that interest went, but I, I'm still interested. Uh, for numerous reasons that I will discuss along the way. I haven't finished playing it yet. It's not a very long game, uh, though um, as I understand it, it gets a little bit grindier at the end. It might have been a little bit better if it was shorter, but I haven't had that experience yet. So if we take a look at play here, I I've only gotten a little bit into it. Uh, I've got a level, uh, 34 minutes, I mean not much at all. But I'm gonna start fresh so you can see how it works out. So this is from Microsoft, and it's Microsoft Games. You'll probably have to set up an account like that. One of the reasons why it might not have gotten so much attention is because it's not on Steam, of course. So here you go, uh, Planet Far Eden. Eden such a common name for Planet Sweet Fried and Colonized. Uh, long after the Dust Devil Plague on Earth. So there you go, that's why we, are, we have left Earth. Uh, it doesn't look like there's uh, much chance of Escaping Dust Devils here, though. Crashed ship remnants. Far Eden. It wasn't supposed to be like this. Go on, Mac. It's over there. So there's our main character, Jewel. But if anyone can set things right, Jewel, I knew it would be you. Okay, we're looking for a power source. It's the only way we're going to get our crawler back online. Do you have the scent, Mac? So the best part is the robot, robots. I mean, I'm in for the robots, honestly. Okay, okay, go, 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 go. And I guess I was sort of looking for a way to play Ray from, from Star Wars. And there's a bit of that in here. Though, I would like that sort of environment too. So, you you have this little jetpack that gives you a little bit of a boost. And it's... It's sort of a... Platformer thingy. I haven't played platformers in ages. So, uh... You moving on, Mac? Uh, yeah, Mac, right? Uh, I hear... Bugs. Hmm. There. An opening at the top of the cliff. That's our way in. Okay, bad guys. And again, it's uh, got sort of this arcade style. So, on the one hand, you've got this very sophisticated environment, right? And on the other hand, you got the little XP popping up and very arcade-style platformer. So it's a it's an interesting mix. Up oh, more of these guys. It can be actually quite a relaxing game to play in this respect, visually appealing and yet uh, you know, and its dynamics rather simple. Any other bugs? I heard something over here. Okay. Okay, Max is going... Mac or Max? Oh, bugs. Oh, those run away. Alright, let's make our way to the top. Lead the way, Mac. Mac. Right behind you. One annoying thing is I can't change the zoom on the camera. 
And it sort of auto zooms in and out. Most people on Earth looked at images of Far Eden and saw nothing but rocks and sand. But some of us saw a future paradise. Narration. Oops. Oh. Whoa, careful, boy. It's a long way down. Yes, it is. It is a long way down. Alright, so here comes the intro to some very important points. Huh. Looks like this door is missing its power cell bot. The little guy must be around here somewhere. Power cell bots. I'm not too sure how wise the idea is. Anyway, I don't like spiders. That that red one especially looks icky. Let's get rid of the red ones. I don't think you need to get rid of these spiders. They'll just hang around, but... Okay, where's the power cell bot, though? Ah. Let's get you back to your socket. The robots are really cute. That's a really cute robot for a power cell bot. Falling? Yeah. Here you go. Okay. I don't know if I have any range to get that thing down there. Yep. Whoop. Get back here. I guess I don't have to shoot this thing. Uh oh, they've captured Mac. I'm coming, Mac. Uh here. A security lattice? What's going on around here? Charge shot. To do more damage or hit multiple targets, hold the center mouse button to charge a rifle, then release to fire. There we go. Got rid of that all in one blast. Um, step on this. Ah, we have to do the dash thing. Um, well, okay. Ah, didn't quite get it. Mac should be on the other side of this door. There we go. I hope I wasn't missing anything on the other side. Interesting that it doesn't automatically close once I'm through. Okay. Mm, parts. Presumably at some point you scavenge stuff. Okay. I think I need to sprint on that one. Okay, finally got over that bit. Extract, so click on F to fire the extractor and hold F to pull. So that's one of our tools. And there is Mac. Revive Mac. Come on, revive Mac. I got you, buddy. You have to click and hold stuff. Try and be more careful. We're not gonna find many friendly bots in here. Yep, we definitely aren't. And there are the bad ones. Okay, let's uh Dodge, 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 or dodge, dodge, dodge. Oh boy, I'm low on ammo. Or charge, really it's charge, not ammo, right? Technically. So 
so you have a little charge bar at the bottom of the aiming reticule. Uh, Max doing his strike. Didn't know he could do that. Huh. Yes, very interesting. So, when we press E while targeting an enemy, we can use that ability. Okay. Oh, 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 okay. So, let's try that. Yes, very good. Um, so, I need to pay attention to when that actually recharges. Obviously, it is the intro mission, so it's relatively easy. Uh, still low ammo. Now, the enemies have different colors based on what kind of weapon or uh, charge would be best against them. Right now, there's not much opportunity for me to do too much with that, but eventually that's going to be a bigger part of this. Mac is now level 2 and my weapon is now level 2. Alright. I don't like it either, but we need to keep going. Anything else in here? Well, uh, I think we need one more of those Sobot. Yeah. I wonder what scared them all out of their sockets. Mm. Press and hold R to have Mac search under the sand. Take a look. Mac, dig in. Well, I'm pressing and holding. Up, oh, we found a dig site. And Mac is digging. And he's dug up a cellbot. Okay, so, cellbot, head on in there. Caterpillars. That's a throwback game. No. Might be easier to charge pulse, but because they're in multiple units. Uh, let's try it on. Ah, missed. Where did that one go? Stop hiding. Gotta. Well, I'll bobble one. Then let me just shoot him. Alright. Is this a way up? Alright, uh, maybe. Okay, cool. Alright. Okay, definitely use the middle mouse button on that one. All right. My extractor should work on this door, just like before. Yep, I hope so. And door thing magic extracted. Ow! 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 Uh, charge shot. Ah. Okay. Okay. Oh. They're bringing it down slowly but surely. All right. Power source. It's some kind of core. If we 
get closer to it, I bet I can grab it with my extractor. Uh huh. So can we do it from this range? No. Mm, that's a long way down. Okay, here we go. Uh oh. Cutscene. Ow. Ouch. Take it. Uh, might want to turn around. Well, here we go with the boss fight. I guess we'll have to do this the hard way. Indeed. So it's got a core in it and we need to extract that core from it. But that's gonna be a little bit of a trouble. Also it changes what kind of energy it's susceptible to. Not a big thing right now. Ow, ow. Uh, we're getting hurt, we're getting hurt. Waggle, 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 waggle. Okay. Go. Uh. Okay. Let's see, can I use the Okay, I'm trying to extract that core. Did not work. Try again. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nope. Okay, so we have to wait until the health matches those triangles, otherwise we can't do it. So right now it's a little bit under those triangles and I can't pull it. So it's gonna have to be a very specific sort of thing. Ouch. Ow, 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 ow. Uh, let me just see. Can I do it? Uh, waggle, waggle, waggle. Come on. Ah. Ah. I'm down on health. Ah. Nope. Got killed there. Iron Fang, Watcher of the Granite Steps. We'll have to do this the hard way. Um, options. Yeah, just auto save stuff. I really don't get like getting buzzed by that thing. Ah, but I don't see... Uh, maybe I have to jump to avoid that. Yep, jump to avoid that. Oh, doing bad things. Okay, we're getting close to the amount. Uh, okay, let me 
this will work. No. Okay, give it health to get it back to the right amount. Oh, it's doing its resist thing. Okay, maybe... Nope. I don't know, it's gonna be one heck of a tug of war. Uh, maybe right now? No. Okay, right here it's too strong to extract. How about now? Uh, ease up on F, it says. Oh, I get it. It's got, it had too much tension in. Okay, got it. Okay, so when it turned red, it had too much tension and it snapped. So what we had to do is ease up on it. Okay, got it. Forgot about that. This is the power source we've been tracking? Never seen a core like this before. Have you, Mac? All the colors are mixed together. Oh, come here, boy. Oh, I see that leg. Doesn't look too bad, but I won't be able to fix it here. Can you make it back to the crawler? <laughs> okay, okay. Let's go home. We have gotten that core. Let's head back to the um, so this is the way out, right? Yep. Guess the core was linked to the local security system. Okay. There's some additional bots over there. Yep, there's our crawler. Oop. Home sweet home. Uh, crate? Not a crate. Okay. Item. Worn servos. Okay, sounds important. Okay, where are they? There they are. They're tough ones too. Ouch! Sort of like, it's sort of like the boss we just fought, fought actually. I like using my jetpack here. Okay, got that one. And that one's done for. Okay, let's pick up stuff. Come on. Worn switches. They would be worn after that battle. And wires. Okay. So now, after getting the tutorial basically is what we've just been through, we head back home and we will... Uh, well, after fighting this guy, we'll find out what it's all about. Ah, dang it, that one jumped. The Mark 8, mobile maintenance. 
maintenance habitat. Double thick hull and redundant systems throughout. We built them to last. Of course, no one thought they'd need to last this long. Okay, we are going to ensure the crawler. Let's get inside and see if this core will turn the power back on. The all powerful core. core. All color core. Weird. Doesn't look like it lost any energy at all. Hey, kiddo. If you get this message before you go to sleep, sweet dreams. If not, wake up already. It's been 200 years. <laughs> Listen, I just wanted to tell you I've got a little more work to do here. But they're holding a space for me on the next evacuation fleet. And I'll meet you on Far Eden. Just like I promised. Don't worry, Jewel. Everything's going according to plan. I know, Mac. Nothing is going according to plan. I mean, look. The pylon in the next sector is offline. Now that we've got power, we can unlock the gate, go over there, and check it out. But this report says the pylon's been offline for... 96 years? Uh-oh. So why didn't we wake up right when the problem started? We're the closest maintenance team, right? What happened, Dad? Where are you? And where is everybody else? And there's actually our Come cryopod, on, right? I'll get you fixed up. And then we both need to fix that pylon. Okay, so now we, uh... Well, we Come on over to the workbench. can do some crafting, I think. Yep. So, the workbench. And so this is where we can research and equip new parts, upgrade the core bots. So taking a look at uh, blueprints, we've got this all canine blueprint. Want to spend the required materials to research this blueprint? Well, let's see. Um, materials, warm pistons, pads, sensors, and red fusion. Well, we've got all the materials. I think we are meant to investigate this. All canine blueprints. I think it's just the four legs blueprint. Um, that's the only blueprint that we actually have. So I guess we might as well. Yep. Nice. Okay, so let's back out of this menu. And so take a look at Mac. And now he's got uh, broken bear bones canine four legs. And instead, we can upgrade them to uh, more powerful, though not quite um, color matching, red bare bones canine four legs. So yes. Okay, to do that. Yeah, save loadout. So now Mac is gonna have red legs on the front. Better attack, better defense, and better energy. Okay. Okay, well, it wants us to back out of the menu. I, I could do other stuff. You have additional bl blueprints in your inventory. Ah, so they really wanted us to do that red one. Uh, return to workbench and... Okay, let's take a look. Okay, Mac. Ready to help me fix that terraforming pylon? Hold on. I wanted to... Please let me... See this again. Okay, stash transfer. Each time the crawler is entered, the core shards and loot in your inventory are automatically transferred. Okay. Now we can look at the workbench. Just wanted us to tell uh, wanted to tell us that. Okay, research blueprints. Okay, well we've got uh, red head. We rated that one, but hind legs augment. We need to pick up more stuff. 
If we take a look, we need more canine valves. And yeah, well, we probably need need no, I think uh, canine valves and red fusion cores. And stabilizers and worn pistons, I suppose. Well, maybe we'll get those where we're going. We can have more bots, obviously. That's uh, we have we have slots for it, and then we have these core fusion things. And what's in our stash? Worn servos. Okay, so this is the stuff. This is our inventory. Okay, I don't think that inventory management is going to be a big deal in this one. All right. Okay, interact. Good thing I'm an engineer whose father was basically in charge of this project. That helps. Okay. Haven was the closest planet with an Earth-like atmosphere. It wasn't perfect, but it sure had potential. Oh. Well, you say that. But where did all these evil bots come from? That looks like a neat little gift that I dropped there. Up, well, hey, do not interfere with Jewel and her inventory collection. Oh boy, this is tough. These guys, these guys. Okay, I think that does it right. Picked up all the things. And goodies. Up, oh, there's another goodie there. Okay. Now some hopping around. Could I get it up there? I don't know. Let's see. Okay, yeah. Got the scene. Hmm, spire of some kind. Oh, that's a pylon. I guess it's supposed to be a floating pylon. I know, Mac. Let's get to the pylon before that storm hits. Guess it's an energy distribution sort of thing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, can I make it across there? Pylon Control Center. Okay. That structure is the Pylon's control center. Or what's left of it, anyway. Hmm. Uh-oh. Bye, guys. You probably guessed that that would happen. Oh, these are lightweights, though. Uh, where is that one? Ah, there. There's another one. I heard a shot. Uh, well, if it's not gonna show itself. There it is. Bad guys? Are those canine frames? They don't look like any I've ever seen. Okay, evil canine frames. Got it. Well, sounds like just the place to get parts for my canine. Okay, you say why, I say who. 
Because we haven't met anybody else around here. Got a little lit thing over here. Nope, that's not a thing. Okay. Yeah, there are just scattered lights on the ground that are not things. There seems to be three floating things up there. Let's grab those. Anti-grav must be a big thing with, uh, with our technology. Okay, uh, well, the marker's up there. Do we go up here? Oh, okay. Up, oh, more goodies. So far all canine stuff, but with those dogs there, I guess that's not too much of a surprise. I wonder when we get our second kind of bot, and what this is all lit up for. Ah, open. Crate! It better be good, that's what I'm saying. Oh, look at that! Wow, 10 blue fusion. I don't know what an E-Turner is, but it must be important. And more of these canine parts. Yeah, that's, uh, that's good. And it's the only lit up one, so I guess the other crates are not filled with stuff. What are you jetpacking about? Oh, wow. He really lights up in blue. Oh, bye guys. Don't worry, Mac, I've got this. What is this? April 29th, 2053. It took me and Victor a week to reach the landing site for the supply vehicles. We had to route our crawler around a rockfall that wasn't on any of the surveys. But most of the core bots are in fine condition. And the Prime Core is safe, thank God. We'd never be able to terraform this planet without it. In 200 years, Far Eden will have blue skies, water, trees. It will be a paradise. Like Earth before a dust devil. Victor will be overseeing construction of the first stage facilities while I get the Prime Core online. If he and the other core bots continue to perform as well as I designed them, I might not need to wake any of the other humans for this shift. I wonder what Death Devil is, such that it prevented them from terraforming Earth itself while we can terraform this. Must be some kind of devil, alright. Ooh, okay. Well, I can make that jump, apparently. Jewel seems to be very good at jumping. See? Um. Uh, okay, well, I have a battle indicator, but... Ah, uh, there it is. Oh, up, oh, up, oh, something else is attacking. Ah, there's, there's some up there. Well, heck, that's not fair. Let me grab my goodies from here first. And... Can we make that? No, not really. We'll have to find some other way up. There's other stuff. We've got some cores and... One... Uh, I, I like the little blue cones, which are basically telling me that they're targeting me from up there, but I need a way to get up there. Uh, I can't go this way. Is there a door? They're making mincemeat of Mac. Maybe some way through here? Ah, maybe some way through here. No? No. Okay, oh! Ramp. Yeah. Come on, grab. There we go. I think Mac took care of him, actually. Mac is a super canine. Okay, so we got those things. Dealt with those folk. Now, looks like we need to get over there. More worn servos and pistons. Wonder if we get fresh servos and pistons. Well, I've got this. There's, there's uh, goodies here and goodies here. We, I don't know which side we need to. S okay, this side has the marker. So if we're gonna get goodies, it'll be over here. Or maybe these are meant to lead us astray. Well, that's it. Okay. 
Yeah, the storm is really getting worse, all right. I'm glad I was briefed about the weather patterns Once on this planet. Were up and running, we figured it would take about 200 years to stabilize these Seems like it's really causing me problems now. All bets were off. If any of the pylons failed, all bets were off. That is not good this planning. Is all powered down. Wonder if I can use that core we found to give it some juice. Okay, um Okay, insert core F. Uh, treasures. Requirements, treasures. I don't understand this. Uh, can I just press enter? Rainbow core for the win! Pylon 512. Wow, if it's 512, you're telling me there's 512 of these things? Uh, well, I mean, they are trying to terraform a world, but if any of them fail, we've got a problem? I don't know about that. Man, I would not design a mission like that. that I have enough trouble getting like 90% of it to work at any given time. Alright, let's find the pylon controls. Well, that tells you how Earth bit the dust. Uh, overconfidence. Hey, another transfer plate. Just like the one in our crawler. Let's Oop. check it out. Yes. Huh. Looks like there's something stuck in the memory buffer. Ah, uh, that's an interesting thing to be stuck in the memory buffer. <laughs> Yes, of course I'm a human. My name is Jewel. What's your name? Cute robots. Violet. V10LT? Oh, you're the one locking down the transfer plates. But why? The revolution? Okay. I think Violet might be missing a few bolts, if you know what I mean. Okay, uh, so what are we gonna do about that? Well, apparently this revolutionary Violet robot is not coming with us. Darn it. But... The probes we sent to Far Eden found pockets of rare minerals on the surface. We all suspected we'd find a lot more underground. I don't really care about the spies. They don't really care about me. I think the narration is her remembering stuff this Adams person said, but I'm not sure. Okay, we have to reboot the pylon. I'm just looking around for any crates or anything like that. Or bad guys. Bad guys, to be fair. Bad guys mean parts. Parts mean upgrades. That crate doesn't have anything. Okay, how do I get up there? Okay, this looks like a good way up. Oh wait, there was a core down there. When the mandate discovered Far Eden. They called it a new horizon for humanity. But all I knew was that it would be the place that would take my daughter away from me. Don't get me wrong, Jewel. I was so proud watching you compete to become a member of the Far Eden team. And I knew you leaving was partly my fault. Since you were little. Okay, I'll wait for him to stop talking. Talk about space. About how incredible it would be to explore other worlds. Thanks, Ray. You're so much like your mother. Brave, kind, a little reckless. Earth was too small for her. And, I guess, 
too small for you two. Absolutely. What makes me happy is that we'll be able to work together, even though we'll be far apart, to test my new invention, the core AI. If we succeed, we won't just have built humanity a new home. We'll have revolutionized the relationship between humans and artificial life. Why did I get the feeling he's responsible for what went wrong here? Pylon activated. I swear, every time I look at that uh, multicolored core, it's smaller. I guess one of these cores isn't enough. We'll need more to reboot the pylon. Well, it's opening stuff for us. So, we have to find more cores. And as I understand it, that's a major thing that's going on in this game. Oh, there was actually a ramp up. Uh, finding more cores is a big part of what we do. Okay, anyway, while I'm figuring this out, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this intro to ReCore. I think it's the sort of game that I would like... I haven't done any speedruns, but this is the sort of thing I would like to speedrun. And see if I could try that sort of thing. But anyway, yep. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.